Awesome. Okay. So I want to take a look at Byte, uh, which is another uh, more recent build tool. I think it's been out there for a little bit. I don't really know the history of Byte. Ah, she. There's been some updates to the uh, ArcGIS core package on the next release. So we also uh, recently added um, a fix for Vite uh, as well, because Vite also would throw these uh, dependency warnings in the API. And what all that really is, is that the workers in the API, they're pre-built. The, um, your build tools don't need to build them. You know, they're just static assets, but the workers will dynamically load some files. So there's uh, somewhere in the code, something that says import a uh, variable name, right? Just do a dynamic import. Tools like Webpack and Vite and stuff that does um, builds, sometimes will give you a warning saying that they don't, they don't expect that because they can't build bundles. They can't chunk that, right? They don't know what you're loading. They can't uh, build it. So, but it's okay if we, we pre-build the workers to handle that kind of situation. But in a case like with the API, we just don't know what the workers are gonna need sometimes until runtime. It's just uh, up in the air, right? Because of web maps and everything. There's, we handle a lot of different scenarios and there's t so many different combinations of things that could happen. We just can't account for everything. So we just um, have to build these chunks out and stuff ahead of time to be able to load the um, files and the workers for you. So that fix is in there for Vite now under the next uh, release, right? So let's take a look at Vite uh, and see how to get started here. So scaffolding your first Vite project. All right, so I've got a folder in here. You see, I've, I've made my folder here. Let's make some room. So npm init. Um, do I need to, I don't think I need to have a package. I think I just have a folder and just say at Vite JS app. Let's try that, see what happens. Okay, project name, uh, Vite, we'll call it Vite JS API, which is the name of the folder I'm in. Uh, we're gonna go with a vanilla project because I don't wanna get hung up on trying to debug anything weird with a view, react, preact, or lit, right? Uh, okay, so it made a byte weird. It made a, a project form for me. Okay, so I'll go in there. Really wasn't expecting that. Uh, you know, let me, uh, let me let me clear out. Okay, so now I go to byte JS API. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out the package JSON. All right, so I've got a byte. I've got a byte build and a byte preview. Okay, so let's do this. Let's um. Let's do a byte dev. I guess let's just run dev real quick and see what it looks like. No, do I have to have him install? I guess I do. Okay, so now I can run it. So it's running at localhost 3000. There we go. Hello, byte. Okay, so that's all running. Everything's cool, fine, and dandy. Okay, cool, cool. So let me go and cast out that. Let's go to npm install the. Um, ArcGIS core, but we're going to install uh, at next. Let's check this out. See what we got going on here, right? So here's my index.html. It's already an ESM module. That's cool. I've got a ID here for app. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. I've got some styles in here. Okay, so that's my app in there. Uh, anything else I want to do here? So update that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the app part. So I got my, my CSS. I need to have my, um, uh, let's see, my index.html. Uh, I should add my stuff in here. So, okay. My stuff. <laughs> I need to have reference to CSS file somewhere in here, right? So I need to add a, let's add a link tag under the title. It doesn't matter if link tags go before or after a title. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if there's a rule for this, but um, whatever. So what is it? Ref style sheet. Style. Am I spelling style wrong? Yeah. Style sheet and then uh, a RAL style sheet. The ref is going to be equal to. Here's where we're going to reference where we're going to expect to copy everything. So it's going to be under 
assets, uh, Esri, names, dark, main.css. All right. Okay. So that should cover me for that. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring some code in here. Um, we're not going to copy a sample, but I do have a, uh, what do I have? I have a wet map ID that I'll reference when I do this. Bring in the web map, import web map from Arctis core web map. All right. And I need a map view. So let's go ahead and import map view from ArcGIS slash. Oh, it'd be nice if I spelled it correctly, right? I was wondering where my telesets went. I was like, what? Telesets, you let me down, man. Okay, views. Map view. All right, there we go. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so now, yeah, yeah, I know. Things are totally unused. Um, oh, I don't need the .js here. Actually, the Vite, I don't know. Maybe Vite will... See the .js and understand it and be very compassionate with me about why I'm doing that. So, okay, so now I want to create a web map. It's called map, just for simplicity's sake. That web map is going to take a, oh, look at doc, doc. That's nice. I still really like the way that worked out. Sometimes that guy has a good idea, I'm telling you. Okay, so I need a web map ID. Uh, let me find a web map ID here. There's one. There's a web map. Now I need to create a view, so const view, so go new map view. That map view is going to take my map. It's also going to take a container, and we're going to go ahead and shove it in the app part. I think that's it. npm run dev, localhost 3000, cross my fingers. Nope, didn't like it. Something broke. Uh, what? Wait, does that one need? No, it's not all need. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it kind of worked. Uh, something didn't load. CSS isn't loading. href. Like I said, one of these days I'm gonna get these videos right, where I do it uh right 100% of the time, right? Right, 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 right. There we go. That works. It just works. Look at this. No uh, warnings in the console log about like dependency warnings or anything like that. That's in the next build. If you use the stable 418 release right now, um, you will get those warnings here. It still works. But you just get warnings, right? It's not that not that big of a deal. It's kind of cool. It's use a roll up under the hood. This is actually pretty nice because there are, and not to knock roll up, right? Roll up is a cool uh tool I, I i do like using it i however have found that and i think i've talked about this before that i need to do a bit more configuration it's actually a bit more work uh, in order for me to get the same result as i would if i were using like webpack or snowpack or something or not even just that just to get um, a good result uh, mainly the fact that there's not really a good uh, HTML templating uh, plugin for Rolla. One that does what I want to do anyway. That's kind of a big... Uh, I don't want to say it's stop for me, but uh, it's it's given me a hard time in the past. So, okay. So, now I'm going to try build, and I'm going to see what happens. So, give me a second here. Put npm run build. I don't know. Is it going to make a build directory? this directory I should probably read the doc I don't know what's gonna happen I didn't set browser compatibility at all that might be a problem um browsers knit, knit okay all codes are spell targeting okay with browsers with native DSM script tag support good definitely that uh dynamic import polyfill automatically injected uh, I don't know if I really like that but uh I'll see what happens. Okay, so what do we got here? So there's a disk directory. So let's do an mpx uh, serve. Let's serve the disk directory. Boom. 
and let's check out what the uh, output is for something like that. So for JavaScript, let's bring this up again. So 65 files at 621K. Yeah, CSO4, I think Webpack would get me a better uh, build chunks than that. Uh, but it's okay. It's still not bad. It's okay. Right. I would expect to get down to like 20 something or something like that uh, with Webpack. I think Snowpack, the same thing. It gives me like a couple dozen files. Uh, but I think that's just, um, I would need to go. And if I actually, if I took this, let's do an incognito uh, version of this. Yeah, let me just uh, refresh, see what this does. It's still 65 files there. So, yeah, I don't know. There's probably something I could do to uh, customize this build a bit more with some roll-up options, but that's fine. It's okay. Uh, so Vite works. It's fast. I like the fact that development mode, like Snowpack, automatically supports ESM, so it's quick for your dev builds. You kind of want that. That's kind of one of the reasons I'm a big fan of Snowpack for dev, is it's all just ESM under the hood, right? So there's no special uh, weird build stuff happening here. Vite's doing the same thing, which is kind of nice. Multi-page app support, uh, so you know, routing, uh, if you want different routes and stuff in here. But yeah, uh, go for it. Give it a shot. People, I think you might like it. Thanks.